Hey guys, Tina Mickle here again with another Blender quick tutorial for the 2.79 build of Blender. There is a newer version of Blender out that is apparently more simplistic, but I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I like to work with something that I know and I know how to operate. Last time I showed you how to uh, delete things you didn't need in your play space and save that user startup file. So now that we have that, we need to add some add-ons. We need Cat's Blender plugin. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go to user preferences and we're gonna go to we can do this a couple different ways. So there's tons of add-ons that you can get with with um, Blender that exist here. There's so many different things. So I haven't really played with a bunch of them. Right now, the only add-on I've installed before starting these tutorials was Screencast, so you guys could see the keys and the buttons that I pressed. Now I'm going to install the Cat's Blender plugin, which if you aren't familiar, it is used for VR chat essentially for optimizing a model and getting it ready for porting over without having to do a bunch of excessive work. So it takes a lot of the, the nitty gritty work out of it. If you're not familiar where to get it, you can just go over here. I'm going to open a new tab. You can type cats blender plugin. Once you do that, it'll be the first thing that pops up. I'm going to click this one right here. And then all you want to do is come over here and click clone or download and then downloads it. So it's going to pop up, you save it and then you're going to have it. I've already saved it to my desktop, however, so I have it ready to go but I will drop this link for you guys in the description below. So that way you don't have to go looking for it. It's there for you. But let's come back over here to Blender and we need to install it from an add-on file, which, oh, install add-on from file. Cool, it's right there. Click this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this big. I'm gonna go to my desktop because that's where I have and I have the Cats Blender plugin right here, master zip, and install add-on from file. So now you'll see that it's going to show, da -da 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 -da. where did it just go? Oh, Blender, where did you go? Or not Blender. Oh, let's just type cats. Cool. If you type cats in the search bar, it's going to now show up here. We're going to check that little checkbox and then install add on from file. Now. Oh, whoop. save user settings. My bad. Not install add on from file. Save user settings. I was getting ambitious. Close this little bad boy out. And you're like, cool. Where'd it go? I installed it. Oh, well, if you look under here, you're going to have a new tab that showed up that's going to be called Cats. And, um, when, oh, and when saving the user startup, too, I usually, I usually bring these little bad boys out a little bit just because it makes it easier to work. But if you look, we have this Cats plugin now. And you're like, cool, what do I do with it? Well, you can do all sorts of different things, like import your model, work with these different objects. And I'm going to do a tutorial that's strictly just around these different objects with uh, model work. But the point is, we've installed the add-on. It is here. It's there to do what we need it to do, and it's going to make life really, really easy. So what you're going to want to do again is you're going to want to save that startup file. The shortcut key is Control U for that. I'm not going to press this because it'll ask you, do you want to confirm? And then you click it. I don't want to get rid of my startup file because I have a really nice setup that my friend got me started with with some of the tools of the trade that are going to make your life easy, um, which is essentially it's just a Maya setup. So it, you don't do just the um, uh, whatchamacallit system. But hopefully that showed you how to install an add-on to a file that you did not have before. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's something you don't know and you want to learn how to do it and you can't really find it on the internet, let me know and I'll see if I can help you. Until next time, I'll see you then.